I have the great pleasure right now of being joined by NIH Director Dr. Francis Collins. Thank you for being here. You have been involved in critical genetics research your entire career. What do you think is most exciting about genetics right now? What is not exciting in human genetics? My gosh, this is a golden era if you ask me, as somebody who's been in this field for 35 years. The ability to find answers, uh, develop diagnostics and therapeutics is moving at a pace that I would not have thought possible. And much of it built on genomics, the ability to be able to sequence DNA and RNA at an amazing speed and low cost. For rare diseases, we are finding answers, making diagnoses that previously we couldn't figure out. And for therapeutics, many of those are leading us in the direction of new ideas about treatment. And certainly, as we look forward to what's going to happen on a larger scale, for me, one of the exciting things is to apply this really in very large numbers of individuals, like this program called All of Us, which is something that we're starting now in the U.S. It's in beta phase right now, but it will launch next spring and will enroll a million Americans in an unprecedented study. Precision medicine is so exciting for physicians and for patients. At this point, what is your vision for All of Us and some of the other precision medicine initiatives? Precision medicine is this idea that if you really want to offer the best health management to people, whether it's prevention of disease or treatment of a chronic illness, you don't want to do a one-size-fits-all approach. You want to do something that's individualized. And that means collecting all the information you can on that person. Their genome sequence would be part of it, but also their environmental exposures, their health behaviors, their lifestyle, all those things together gives you a chance to do a better job of healthcare. So, but we need data, and you need data on huge numbers of people for that to happen. So all of us aims to enroll a million people, have their genomes determined, have their uh, electronic health records as part of the study, and they're all participants in this in a very meaningful way. They're going to fill out lots of questionnaires about their own health behaviors and their experiences. They're going to walk around with wearable sensors that keep track of what's happening to them in terms of their environmental exposures. And all that data will be accessible to qualified researchers so that we can learn from it. So this is transformative. We've never had the chance to do anything quite like this before. How do you see genetic research helping with global health? Well, yesterday I had this wonderful opportunity uh, to have a conversation with Bill Gates as part of the presidential symposium, and that's a lot of what we talked about, because it turns out global health research is supported primarily by two agencies in the world, the Gates Foundation and the National Institutes of Health. Together, that's more than half of what's there. So we've worked very closely on that. And certainly genetics as the sort of leading edge of how we can move global health into a new era is starting to be exportable. There's a program we're supporting with the Wellcome Trust called H3 Africa, Human Health and Heredity in Africa. Some of the investigators involved in that have been at this meeting. That's now involved 27 countries in Africa giving them the opportunity to pick up the skills in both sequencing and in data analysis, building their internet connections. They've enrolled 75,000 Africans in this kind of a prospective study. So yeah, genomics and genetics is starting to be a big part of where we want to go. And of course, genetics has always been a pretty big part of the infectious disease issue, both in terms of figuring out what's the DNA of that pathogen, but also figuring what, how do people have variable susceptibility. Uh, to something like Ebola or influenza. Lots of opportunities there as well. What advice would you give to someone who is just starting out as a geneticist? Well, it would be a great time for anybody to be just starting out as a geneticist. You can count on the fact that you're being, going to be engaged in an adventure over the next 30 to 40 years that is going to change everything. So you want to have a broad horizon of what's happening. Don't get too narrow too quickly. <laughs> And you certainly want to be good at computational approaches. If you want to be a geneticist, you really ought to learn how to code. And you ought to be comfortable diving into one of these really large data sets and making sense out of it. It's all going to be up there in the cloud. It's going to be waiting for somebody with a good idea to make sense out of it. And you want to be one of those people. Dr. Francis Collins, thank you so much.